all the viewers. Today we are going to conduct a research inter an interview about the issue of the imposition of tax on cigarettes. And we are going to interview Professor Bernardo Anabel, a professor in MIT from the SLHS department. Also regarding this issue, we are going to talk about the effects of tax increase in the tobacco industry. Good evening. Uh, how are you, ma'am? I'm fine. How are you? Uh, not so. Why? <laughs> uh, it's a very long story, ma'am. Okay, so maybe we can talk about it later after the interview. Uh, if you have time, I'm going to explore the whole thing. So let's get to the point. Uh, the side, uh, first question. Can you tell us, ma'am, um, your opinion, why does the government have to impose tax on cigarettes? Mm, to be for a variety of reasons. First of which, we really are concerned with the health of the people, which is part of their duty as a government. So, because we have proven, studies have proven that cigarette is really contributing, it's a, health, uh, it's a factor in the degeneration of the health of the people. So, health of the people. So, in that case, I think that's one reason why uh, why a tax can be imposed on the on cigarettes because under our laws, um, the power of taxation of the government can be used for regulatory purposes. If they want to regulate the industry because they think it's inimical to the people, they can do so by imposing higher taxes, for example, on cigarettes. Other thing is, they probably need the additional revenue. So in that case, they can impose taxes on a particular industry which they think could really contribute to the growth of our economy. As a matter of fact, uh, can I add something to that? Um, in the power to tax is considered the power to destroy, not because it is used to destroy an industry, but it can be exercised to the extent needed by the government. If they need additional funds, even though it can destroy an industry, they can still tax that industry, so it can be used to destroy. Okay, well, uh, next question. Uh, how beneficial is the tax increase on cigarettes to those people who smoke? How can it be beneficial? Do you think it's beneficial for those who smoke? I think so, because that will help them to um, decrease their their consumption of cigarettes because they know that now, since the if the cigarette will have higher taxes, it will have higher prices, so it will be painful for their pockets if they will spend more on cigarettes. So I think it will help them um, improve their health because, as we all know, <coughs> cigarettes contribute to cancer, uh, lung, lung cancer, and those stuff. So I think it will be beneficial to them in that regard. Uh, okay, well, uh, I have. Oh, I have here Mr. Kevin to ask more questions. Okay. Hi, Mr. Kevin. Okay. Uh, with regards to problems concerning the tobacco business in the Philippines, my question is, how do you think the tobacco industry should be able to sustain their incomes if ever the tax increase would be implemented? Well, if the tax increase will be implemented, since the tax on those kinds of goods are considered as indirect taxes, meaning they will pass this to the consumers, they can still continue their production of the same amount of cigarettes so long as they can pass this to the people. But if your question is, what if nobody will want, would want to buy the cigarettes anymore because of its preventive prices, prohibitive prices? So in that case, I think what they can do is they can try to be more efficient in their production process so they can cut back on the cost of production so that even though they are producing the same amount of tobacco, they are producing it for a lesser amount and they are passing it to the people a lower amount so that they can tax it and <coughs> Okay, so what we assume that uh, they can afford, they can afford <coughs> to, to sustain their income how do you think the government will be able to help the tobacco industries to find an alternative source of income if ever this tax increase has been implemented? And normally, <coughs> the government can give subsidy or 
pagiging ganda at exceptional to an important industry. But in the case of the tobacco industry, I don't think the government will do that because one of the main reasons why, one of the reasons why they <coughs> are trying to impose a higher tax on the cigarettes are because they are contributing to the the generation of the health of the people. So I don't think they would really want to subsidize no, anything for the tobacco industry. So if you're asking me how they can help, I don't think they would do that. I think they will just let this industry die. Or, or, or if they want to survive, they can probably um, engage into another venture to really depend from the tobacco. Mm, but how about the employees <coughs> of working for the tobacco industries? How will the government help those employees that knowing that they will be most affected by this tax increase? Actually, um, I think unemployment is a problem not only by those people but also by other people. Um, there's not enough to <coughs> have been employed during that particular time. So I think they can probably try to gradually impose these taxes so that the people who are working for the tobacco industry can somehow find a way to look for a new job during that interim period. So the imposition of the tax should not be <coughs> up sudden. It should be gradual to help these people look for other jobs. And aside from that, they can probably try to promote other industries like the business classes outsourcing industry. And uh, that will provide more jobs to these people. Or I don't know if the any ingredients of the tobacco is any medicinal properties. So if they have those kinds of things, they can probably try to venture into a totally different field than cigarettes or tobacco. Well, uh, that ends my questions. Now I have three of my friends who have other concerns and want to ask more questions. Okay. Here's How many more questions? Hi. Good evening. Why does your name sound familiar? Okay. Good evening, Ash. Yes, what benefits of having 400 percent tax increase on cigarettes to those people who doesn't smoke and have nothing to do about cigarettes? Okay, because taxes are public funds, so that means if they will impose additional taxes, that will translate to more public funds. And these public funds will be used to fill infrastructures, they will be used to serve um, in the service of the people. So this additional taxes will translate to these services, to these infrastructures. So all of the people, even those not smokers, will benefit because this will become a part of our public funds to be used for public purposes. Um, how do you find the tax increase again effective? way in the whole smoking problem on the country. Okay, because that will, that, the price is prohibitive, so that will prohibit the people from buying cigarettes. Instead of um, putting all of their income on cigarettes, what they will do is they will try to stop or at least lessen the consumption of cigarettes because they know how prohibitive the cost is of um, one to take a cigarette. Um, that's all. Uh, okay, thank you. Um, um, there, there's another uh, okay. speaker, Barsiba. Hi. 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 This is my first question. Um, as a member of the society, how does the imposition of taxes and cigarettes affect you? Mm, I'm not really a smoker. I'm a social smoker. Meaning, I, yeah, like right now, I can smell my fingers because me. Actually, smoke earlier, but I don't think really it's smoke occasionally, so I don't think it will affect me in a, in a negative way. But I think the additional taxes will help the people in general because, that's like what I said earlier, it will translate to more projects for the government because they will use the taxes um, imposed, the additional taxes imposed to build infrastructures and to provide more services. Thank you. Next question is. Do you think that increasing tax on cigarettes will reduce the number of smokers in the Philippines? Why or how? 
I think so. Because most of the smokers, not, not really all of the smokers, but there are a lot of smokers who belong to those people living below the poverty line. So in that case, um, maybe two pesos will not really matter to them. But if they will increase the tax, if the if one stick will cost seven pesos, I think that will really, even those people who can afford to buy uh, cigarettes at that price will mm -hmm. somehow think twice before buying a cigarette. So I think that will really affect the consumption of cigarettes now. Okay, thank you. So there you have it, viewers. Uh, we uh, interview is done, and we would like to thank Mang Donato from the bottom of our hearts. Yes, mom. Thank you. She just doesn't know how grateful we are, <laughs> and we just want to say it to all. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Uh, thank you, mom. Okay. Thank you. Okay. No problem. Thank you, mom. <laughs>